Hi YouTube, my name is Ale and welcome to the finale of Zero Scare Virtuous Last Reward. Now a little heads up, I actually did make that intro just recently. Oh, wait until you see the outro, it'll be fantastic. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I gotta announce here is that the ending's gonna be a little... Well, you'll see for yourself. But anyway, let's get started. This is the finale of Zero Scape Virtue's Last Reward. The, the 45th and final video I will be doing for Zero Scape Virtue's Last Reward. Now let's get started. I understand how you feel. And yes, we have a voice actor now. <clears throat> Or actually, Kyle now. And we have a voice. At the end of the game. <laughs> Why you want to return to Earth is clear. You have lives there, I imagine. There are likely people waiting for you. Right. Ah, look at Junpei. He's all smiling and happy. Uh-huh. Have you already said goodbye to the others? Bye, Luna, Alice, and Clover all saw us off. We told them we'd see them again someday, and then came here. They were the only people you want to say goodbye to? Well, no point saying anything to Dio. Besides, he's asleep. You were asleep, too. Sorry, but we didn't really know much about you. You have a point. Kane was in the armor in this timeline, after all. What about Sigma? Well, he's not really Mr. Sigma anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I'm Sigma now. Of course. He is Dr. Klein now that his consciousness has returned. Yeah, but more importantly, he's the guy who brought us all here. Not a lot of warm feelings there, you know? And Akane? Oh, come on, man. Never mind her. What? Junpei, you dope. All these years saying you're not gonna say anything? Coward. She's just like him. Ooh. Not the Akane I knew. She must have seen some pretty awful things over the years. Hell. She might not even be human anymore. That's cold. But the Akane Kurashiki I know isn't here. She's not anywhere. In the end, Clover and I were just pawns. Pawns to be used and then gotten rid of. Poor Alice and Clover. That look on Clover's face, man. Feels bad, man. Still, it's not like we're completely resentful. Come again? We had to be here to help change the past. That part's easy to understand. But... Kinda sucks, though. I mean, Sigma and Bai have it easy. They get to go back to December 25th in 2028. They'll stop the Radical Six and save the world, and then they'll have a nice, normal future to look forward to. In other words, they get to go back to point E and just enjoy history like it was supposed to happen. But we don't. We're stuck with point C as our starting point. You told us about Ten Miyoji's story, right? <laughs> the look on their faces. Have I seen that look on Alice before? I don't think I have. I want to miss Alice. The one with the motorcycles? It would be like if Alice and I were kidnapped right before the intersection. Then whoever grabbed us takes us to wherever the bikers are going, 10,000 miles to the northwest. Don't get us wrong. We know why we had to be here. Without us, S's consciousness wouldn't have been able to go back to right before the intersection. 
She means Sigma. If that couldn't happen, then the fate of those 90 dead bikers would be sealed. But... It's still not the best situation for those of us left in the Northwest. We're stuck in the reality where the 90 bikers died. Are we just supposed to go live on Earth? It's a wasteland now. And what about our friends and families? We left a whole world behind 45 years ago. Even if it is for the greater good? It just doesn't seem fair, does it? Yeah, it's a little bit much. So we went and talked to the old lady. Akane? She told us that there is one way. Oh, happy look on your face on Alice. One way we could get back to the past. Let's say you do go back to the past. Wouldn't that cause your minds to get thrown back here? That seemed to be how Sigma and Phi's jumps worked, at least. Yes, you're right. But this is different. Different? How so? From what she said, it sounds like there's a way we can send our bodies back in time, too. <laughs> That's ridiculous. It would create a paradox. How could you have two Clovers and two Alices at the same time? But that wouldn't happen. Akane says there's a way around that. How on earth does she plan to do that? Schrodingers? Cat. Oh, hey, Kyle. Hmm. Figured you'd come here eventually. Where's Dr. Klein? There's the Yora. Luna said you were with him. He said he was tired, so he's off resting right now. Wow. There's a bedroom at the end of the hallway. I think what happened is that a new consciousness was born on its own after so many jumps. Especially after... Sigma, old Sigma, tried to switch bodies with his younger self, and from that probably was... That's when Kyle was born, which happens to be a combination of the two, in a sense. He's in there if you're curious. Oh, right. He told me to turn on this hologram projector thing when you showed up. Want me to start it? Sure. Glad to see you. There isn't anything in particular that I have to tell you. However, I imagine there are a great number of things weighing on your mind. I'd love to answer all of your questions, but unfortunately, my circumstances make that an impossibility. I hope you can forgive me. It's got that creepy music going on. he mean other than Kyle? Who knows? Is there anything you want to ask? Oh, right, well, I guess I may as well cut to the chase. Just who are you, Fi? I'm not Superman, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm not Batman or Spider-Man or Aquaman or a Merman or a Wolfman. <laughs> this joke again. From the beginning of the game. Really? <laughs> I'm not a Brahmin or Common or Raman. I'm not a Cayman either, so you really don't need to worry about anything. Oh my god. You're killing it. Please don't touch the question. Don't touch the question. Oh my god, Kyle, speak properly. <laughs> that, that look on the Yoros face. About five hours ago, Akane attacked you with a knife. That triggered something which sent your mind back to the past, correct? Specifically, you were sent to point D, April 13th, 2029. On that date, your body was already in Akane's custody. 
although by then you were in cold sleep. You wouldn't have regained consciousness, but your mind was now inhabiting that body. That pod was your home for 45 years. You slept there, frozen, until the time was right. Then on January 25th, 2074, you were finally thawed out. Even though you didn't wake up. Still unconscious, you were carried to the AV room. That was when your consciousness changed bodies again. A version of you from December 25th, 2028 arrived, pushing you out. And sending you back to December 25th, 2028. This is when you finally woke up. In 2028, you found and joined forces with Sigma, whose older mind was inhabiting his younger body. Together, you attempted to infiltrate the Mars Mission Test Facility. Fortunately, your plan failed. The Radical Six did escape on New Year's Eve. That failure determined the path you followed. Instead of going along the line that branches out to the right from point E, you headed straight to point D. Point D being April 13th of the following year. That was the day that you made your way to Akane's hideout and asked to be put into one of the treatment pods. Another consciousness enters your body around that time from the future. It is, of course, the version of you that left your body when Akane attacked you in the garden. This caused the two versions of you to swap places. And you moved 45 years into the future where you woke up on the garden floor. That put you on the line that comes here. Hmm. Is that model animation inverted or something? Or was she always turning the other way? So if we discount the time you spent in cold sleep, for you only three and a half months have passed since that happened. That being when you were sent back into the past from the garden. Have I missed anything? No, everything you talked about you got right. Ellipses at the end. Well, what do you mean by that? I'm kind of an unknown variable in this equation. You could think of me as a kind of X factor. It's taken me the last three and a half months to understand it. And I haven't understood anything in the last three and a half seconds. Could you please explain? It's kind of like the relationship between classical mechanics and modern physics. Strictly speaking, you can't combine velocities with V1 plus V2. V1 plus V2 divided by 1 plus V1 times V2 over C squared is the actual equation. Of course, the sort of velocities we encounter in day-to-day -day life don't come close to being C squared, which is the speed of light squared. That means that 1 plus V1 times V2 divided by C squared is usually going to evaluate to something pretty close to 1. Since that would mean dividing by 1, it's usually okay to just skip that step and use V1 plus V2. You see what I'm saying? I don't. What about you, Kyle? In most situations, it works, even if it isn't technically correct. So you knew enough to get the stuff you were talking about right. As long as you stick to that, you won't run into any problems. I don't quite understand. Face palm. If you could actually see my face. In fact, I feel like you're dodging my questions. So was that what you wanted to ask about? No. What I really want to know is what happened between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028. You and Sigma infiltrated the Mars mission test site, didn't you? Yes. What happened there? How did Sigma lose his eye and both his arms? And why was Radical Six in there in the first place? What could a deadly virus have to do with the simulated mission to space? 
Sorry, but I can't tell you that. Why? Because it would change history. There is a history where the virus didn't escape. Oh. Kind of like a paradox kind of thing. You can't tell certain things because something may happen. That's the line that goes to the right of point E. In that timeline, humanity isn't heading for annihilation, and Earth isn't red. The future is much brighter. But if I tell you what you're asking me right now, then that reality will disappear. You understand? And there's and there's the music that kind of sounds like this is an ending. I don't. Why would all of that disappear if you told me what I want to know? You're about to go back to the past, right? The past? Don't be silly. I can't do that. Then where the hell did you learn all this stuff? I just listened to you tell me a bunch of things you shouldn't have known about. You were sleeping in the pot in the garden. You just woke up. So how can you know all this? You know my past. Sigma's past. I shall give you your answer. Oh. Okay, Akane. What do you know? You are not Kyle Climb. Your body is Kyle's. But your consciousness is not. Think about it. Do you really believe you are Kyle? Or could you be someone else entirely? Then, where is the real Kyle's consciousness? He was thrown out when you entered. Right now, in a manner of speaking, he has arrived at December 25th, 2028. His consciousness has gone into a body from that time. The music's tuning down. I doubt you know how much the doctor loves Kyle. He raised him on his own. Single dad. Kyle is irreplaceable. Do you really think he would go back to the past and leave Kyle behind here? Wait. Younger Sigma? Potentially? I know what I told the others. That Kyle was Dr. Climb's spare. But that was not his only purpose. Kyle's consciousness is integral to what we are trying to accomplish. This new mission begins on Christmas and ends on New Year's Eve 2028. Its purpose will be to infiltrate the test facility and prevent the spread of the virus. For this to happen, Kyle is absolutely necessary. And that is why he created him? Yes. 
So now that my consciousness has entered his body, the doctor has achieved his objective. Mm-hmm. Kyle has gone back to 2028 to participate in his mission. Correct. There's one thing that troubles me. Kyle was created before reaching point B from point D. That means his body did not exist on Christmas in 2028. So... Where did Kyle go? Which body does he inhabit? Does that mean he has entered my body? Have we just switched places? I suppose you could put it that way, yes. Oh, being mysterious now, aren't we? That's ridiculous. What's going to happen to me? You're telling me I have to spend the rest of my life here in this box, living in a borrowed body? No, not at all. You can travel freely through time and space. You are an uncontrolled variable that entered our closed system. As such, the rules of this world do not apply to you. Uh, I have no idea what... Please don't try to play dumb. Huh? I know what you are. Surely you must know by now, too. You are about to go into the past and save the world. Phi and Sigma, even with all of his future knowledge, will need your help. Only you can right the horrible wrongs of our past. Only you can save the world. There's no way I... Yes, there is. You have to. Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to know what happened in between Christmas and New Year's Eve in 2028? <laughs> well, yes, I do, but... Then you must believe. Reality is shaped by what we believe reality should be. If observation can change the motion of a particle, then how is it odd to think that human thought can shape reality? Your will can change history. The world will be reshaped into the one you imagine. How are we on time? Remember what I've told you. 23 minutes. Only you can change history. Only you can save the world. Well, yep, as I expected. That's, that's the end of Zero Escape. A, cl a cliffhanger. Let me see. There we go. Okay, I think, think that's the end of it. I'm not gonna explore through all these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually do some extras off, off YouTube. But as always, thank you so much for watching. 
I'll just leave it like that. Thank you so much for watching. A big shout out to my friend AJ who let me hit, let me this game since last year, and I, and I had the brilliant idea of hey, why not do a blind playthrough of this visual novel on, on my YouTube channel? And well, and, and I just finish it, just like that. Even he told me he was telling me that he wasn't satisfied with with the way things sounded because obviously it's a cliffhanger. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like. I hope you guys liked all these videos. Hope you guys like Zeroscape because I really enjoyed it with all the puzzles, all the fun stuff, all the dialogues and the commentary that I added to it. As always, thank you so much for watching. My name is Ale, and I will see you on the next series. Till next time. Ciao, ciao.